Hey guys, uh, this is Surin. Uh, I've been working as a full stack web developer in Chennai for past three years. So what I thought was I'll just uh, bring down all the experience and turn it into a web series. So it is going to be like a 12 week course starting from very basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript and we'll work our way all the way up to advanced topics like Docker, front end frameworks like Angular or um, even like some DevOps stuff. CICD tools, uh, G Cloud integration, um, anything that is relevant to web development. Coming to the next thing, uh, who is this course focused for? I'll say it is for grad students or uh, anyone out there looking out for a job in web development. So this should uh, get yourself familiarized with uh, topics and uh, current industrial practices in web development. So this is my first YouTube video actually. Uh, there are people out there who is well versed and well experienced in the topics I'm about to take. Uh, do feel free to correct me and uh, uh, let me know if you have any suggestions as well. Uh, I would also like to bring that uh, I'm a mechanical engineer actually. Um, once uh, my area of expertise was solved works and answers. So do let me know if you have any queries in uh, mechanical engineering and stuff as well. And I'll say something to my people here. Uh, so in the Motta web series pating na, and the Tamil version liyum um, panir kya? Adoda link pating na, idoda description liye ruko. Kandi padu pay paarenga. Um, ungle kyu sular ko? Now coming back to the topic we were discussing, uh, I'm pretty sure web development is kind of vast field, uh, and uh, it requires you to be self motivated and uh, highly passionate about it. And you require a lot of patience as well. That is what I learned throughout the years. I'm pretty sure you guys uh, watch a lot of web series like Game of Thrones, Flash, whatever. Mm, just make sure to allocate some more time. Um, just um, can be a hour or uh, even 30 minutes. Um, just make sure to update yourself with current technologies uh, in your uh, current uh, field. And uh, it will help you to stay on track and intact well this seems like a quite a long intro uh, so enough with it without any further ado let's get started hello again guys uh, so to start with the course uh, you will be in need to install a few software so that you could follow along uh, initially we will have something called as vs code which is a code editor there are few other text editors like uh, Atom. Um, it's completely up to you to choose one among this. Um, I personally prefer VS Code because it is uh, what uh, developers widely use and uh, it has a lot of extensions which could come handy and um, it, it is quite uh, helpful to beginners because it has some auto complete features as well. Um, just choose a package relevant to your platform and uh, have it downloaded and get it installed. Uh, I already have it installed. So now let's uh, go to the next thing that we need. Uh, search for git bash. Mm, git is actually version control system which we will be discussing in later videos. So for now uh, just have it downloaded because uh, Usually uh, the Linux terminal has uh, supports a lot of commands which quite differs in Windows. So we already have something called as uh, CMD command prompt. Uh, so having git installed will help you to follow along with the commands that I use. So th there could be a question like uh, is a command line interface really needed? Uh, what I would say is of course you could use the graphical user interface, you could go to folders, you could uh, search for files, whatever you could do. But uh, since uh, in later parts we are going, going to have something into deployment and stuff, uh, it's always good to have uh, quite a few knowledge on command line interface as well. Uh, as you see ls is not going to work uh, or recognized in the command prompt, so it's better to use git bash. Um, the last thing that we will be needing is a browser of course, uh, I personally prefer Google Chrome. So don't even care about Internet Explorer. So because um, anyway we are not gonna see much into 
Internet Explorer part. Uh, just have the Chrome downloaded. That's it. I guess we are good to go. Mm, I'm not sure whether you could see this. I'll zoom it up a bit. Okay. So now we'll just have some basic commands so that uh, you will get these things familiarized. As you see, there is a tilde symbol here. It means the present working directory, uh, the home actually. So if you type pwd, you will see the present working directory. So the user uh, directory is denoted by tilde and uh, there is a command called cd, change directory, which will let you to navigate uh, to different uh, folders and uh, drives. For instance, if you want to move to C drive, you could just do like this and you are in C drive. So as you see here, there is something like slash. So what is slash actually? Uh, it is nothing but uh, the root directory. And uh, as you can see, I just used another command. The ls denotes for list. Uh, you could use it along with parameters as well. The one that you see after the hyphen, it is l-a-r-t are the parameters. Uh, as you could see, that, uh, these are some detailed information on this particular folder. Mm, is it uh, really necessary to know all these stuff? Uh, actually not. Um, but um, it is quite good to pick a few things as you move along because uh, if I'm gonna tell everything while we go into deployment, it is gonna be a bit tough for you guys. So it is quite a good practice to get used to CLI. Um, as you see here, uh, the D stands for directory, uh, which of course is this and uh, we have some pattern here. So uh, the meaning for this is read, write and execute. Well, then why is this written thrice? So the reason is uh, it denotes the user permission and the group permission and the public permission. So it is of course uh, changeable by us, which we are not going to discuss here. And of course we have some file size parameters and uh, the created date. Uh, yeah, of course we'll get into this in later parts. Mm. Another thing is you could just clear the screen. And uh, I personally what I do is I'll just uh, use alias command to set the clear value to C so that uh, Whenever I feel that uh, the screen is a bit junky, what I do is I'll just uh, use C to clear everything out. So likewise, whichever command you're going to use frequently, just set it to C and uh, uh, use alias command to set it to some uh, key value and uh, use it alone. Now we'll see a bit of a navigation. Now we are going to work in a directory uh, that resides in E drive. So I'm going to cd into that. Um, as you see, uh, the code base is where we are going to work. You don't have to type the entire thing. You could just uh, use c star uh, or asterisk, uh, which is going to help you move into the directory. It will auto complete for you. Uh, also, there is another way. Uh, I'll just uh, tell all those shortcuts usually people use to get their work a bit uh, fast um, just press W and uh, as you type tab you could see that the only folder residing there is web series 2019 and uh, as I used to tab it just auto filled the value for me so you could move into that also you could uh, come back a directory by using and dot dot you could uh, navigate as much as you like uh, using these dots mm, currently it shows that i'm in root directory uh, also you could use the absolute path system uh, like uh, you could um, paste the entire path and you could move in a single shot i'll just do it now like uh, what was the path again yeah it is e drive with uh, code base and web series I guess so we just moved the entire path in a single shot mm. also you could use something like code dot which will bring up the VS code editor uh, loaded in that particular directory um, 
yeah that's pretty much i guess mm, also you could make a directory here or remove a directory there is something called a sample what we'll do is we'll use rmdir which which stands for remove directory um as usual you could use tab and uh, you could have that removed as you see it is gone uh, i'll just create a folder called um, mm, let's create the sample again mkdir is a m p l e mkdir stands for make directory and i just created the directory again we'll just get into it and uh, this is where we will be working most of our code throughout the entire uh, web series as you see that folder is loaded we could uh, add as much as files in the um, vs code here mm, that's it for now i guess see you in the next video